morning everybody welcome back to our youtube channel hope you're all doing well welcome back to a brand new vlog today is currently sunday which means one thing and one thing only today is family day i absolutely love a sunday because every single week without fail we me tommy and cooper will spend a sunday together we do often spend like saturdays and stuff together but sometimes tom works sometimes he's at football whereas like on a sunday it's like nothing gets in the way of family day do you know what i mean so i'm looking forward to spending a nice day together um by the way these are those pajamas that i showed in my vlog was it the last vlog the vlog before i can't remember the ones from primark absolutely love them but can you please tell me why most pajamas seem to be like this but why is there not another button here do you know what i mean like i pull it back like this and then it just looks silly but then if you have it really low down it's really low do you know what i mean i just wish there was like another button I don't know if anyone else agrees with that, but that's one thing. I don't know if it is just Primark, I'm not actually sure to be honest, but most of my pajamas are from Primark, so I can't really compare. That's the only thing I'd say about these, but other than that, absolutely love them. Anyways, I'm just getting ready, I'm just about to do something with my hair. I think I'm just gonna put the dice in through, but on the end, you know, just to give it a little bit of a on the end, you know what I mean? I don't want to curl it, but I can't be dealing with that. I've just finished my makeup and i was roped in on tiktok to buy this it's the l'oreal three second setting mist it's meant to be 36 hour and no transfer so i thought i'd give this a go i absolutely love it um and it doesn't actually transfer i'm gonna use it today and we'll see by the end of the vlog if my makeup's actually stayed on one thing i will say about this though that i don't like it's pretty much like hairspray. I've seen all the TikTok girlies talk about it and apparently it's not got the same ingredients as hairspray. It's got like other stuff in that's for your skin. Um, but it smells like hairspray, it feels like hairspray. And I don't know if any new mums or mums in general are like this, but spraying things like this when I have Cooper, I'm really, really funny about. Like obviously I'll do it in another room. I would never spray anything like this around him. But it's just one of those things, you know, when they're like happily sat watching you get ready and then you have to go out of the room to spray this and then it disrupts them and then we know what it's like. Sometimes I just wish it wasn't in a hairspray format. I keep saying hairspray, I know it's not hairspray, but do you know what I mean? Like that aerosol kind of form. Um because I just don't like spraying anything like that around him. Like, not even perfume, I'd go in another room to spray it because you don't want anything going up the nose, any harsh chemicals or anything like that, do you? That's the only thing I'd say I don't really like about it. But in terms of kind of like the transfer, I actually do feel like it doesn't transfer because I found that a lot of the times on, you know, like when I'm cuddling Coops, a bit of makeup will go on his outfit. When I'm wearing that, it doesn't. Um, but that actually brings me on to a new deodorant that I've been using. Really happy to say that this part of the video is very kindly in partnership with Wild. I'm, I'm actually don't even know what to say about these these products because I feel like these are products I didn't know I needed until I've got them. Do you know those kind of products? Then you try them and you're like, why have I not converted to these sooner? Firstly, they contain safe natural ingredients, no harsh chemicals, no parabens, no aluminium salts. They're just really safe. And like I was just saying around Cooper, I don't like spraying things when he's in the room. Um, and ever since I've had him, I've always been like a like an aerosol deodorant kind of girly like always i've off i've like dipped and dabbed into like roll-ons but i've always been a spray and since having cooper i do find that i do opt for a roll-on a lot more but i don't know if anyone else finds this with some roll-ons but i just don't I, a i don't feel like it lasts as well and b i feel like it feels really sticky you know like when you roll it on whereas with these oh honestly the efficiency like it really does actually last 24 hours. I put this on before bed last night and I can still smell it this morning under my arm. Like it's really, really good at actually lasting on you, which is what you want in a deodorant. And another win-win with these as well, Wild actually offer a subscription service. So you can get the new refills through your letterbox every single month. So you don't have to go out to the shops to buy them. They literally come to your door every single month and you can like pick a mix. You can change like the scents and stuff that you want, which I think is nice. Cause sometimes we get bored of the same scents. You might want to change it up depending on the season. They do different scents, which is really nice. Um, now they very very kindly sent me and Tom these and when I saw these when I opened the box I saw that they were personalised and I just thought oh my god how cute is that firstly they are premium reusable cases like you literally just change the deodorant inside which I'll show you in a second but how looks do they look Tom's got black I've got pink like that is so girly I absolutely love it and when I opened the box I saw that they'd put our names on them how cute is that so we've got Ellie and then we've got Tom I'm sorry 
I just absolutely love them. Anyways, I actually wrote down the scents that they'd sent us because I love them that much. So Tom's got the Lemon, Basil and Blood Orange. Now how do I describe this scent? Twist it from the bottom. Can you see it comes up? You can actually see it's a really like creamy, nice consistency. It's not like, you know with some roll-ons they're like watery, which I think is why they're sticky. It's really creamy. Right. I know what that smells like. I've been trying to fathom what that reminds me of. And it's the Jo Malone. You know the lime. Oh, what is it? The candle. The lime and basil. You'll know which one I'm talking about if you like Jo Malone. That is exactly what that one smells like. So that's in the scent lemon, basil and blood orange. And it smells exactly like jo the Jo Malone scent. That's gorgeous. And then they sent me cherry blossom. I could... I could literally eat it, it smells that nice. When I use this, it really does last. And when you're rolling it on, I can't describe it. It doesn't feel like any other roll-on that I've used before. I think it is because it's so creamy. It's not like runny. It feels like you're just putting like, I don't know, like a nice moisturiser under your armpit. It just feels so nice. And the um, actual deodorant itself, you get a lot in it as well. Like I said, they're really, really easy to refill. So you've got these cases, which are, you'd obviously just keep your case. And then when you're ready to refill it, you can see there's two buttons on the side. You literally click those in, the base comes out, you put your new deodorant on and then clip it back on. It's so easy. So, so easy to refill. And then they also sent me this lip balm as well. Again, refillable, you keep the little case, you put your lip balm in, you're good to go. And that's really creamy and nice as well. Like I put that on before I did my lip like my lip liner today my, my lips feel like really buttery and nice but yeah absolutely love all of them and as well they are vegan and cruelty free they're made from shea butter and coconut oil so that hence why i keep saying it's so moisturizing because of the ingredients they're made from um and one thing that i absolutely love is every time that you purchase one of them they plant a tree which i just think is amazing but anyways i will pop the link in the description box down below i'll also pop it in the comments and pin it for you all um but we have got a discount code that wild has very kindly given us for you guys the discount code is all in capitals tom and l and that will get you 20 percent off all of the products on the website but it is for a limited time only so make sure you go check them out and um, as i say i'll leave everything in the description box down below for you anyways i'm going to continue getting ready like i said i'm just going to put like a few little you all right tom a few little summit summit in the bottom of my hair i think you all right you all right yeah. is he all right Okay, um, I'm going to quickly put a bit of something, something in my hair, I'm going to get ready, we're going to feed Coops, get Coops ready, and then we're going to go out for a nice family day. Are you going to come out? Come on then! Come on then, my cheeky boy! Are you okay? Gorgeous boy, should we put the light on? Say, hello everybody! This is a hello from a little boy who slept through for the first time. Okay. Yes, you did, cheeky chops. It wasn't even like we were trying to get him to do it. We did nothing different, like deliberately. We did go to bed a little bit later, naturally, because it was Saturday night. Um, but I mean, he bottled and asleep for quarter past 11. We did nothing different. And then I, I woke up, he woke up this morning, I looked at the time and it was 10 to seven. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Just recently, he's been getting up at like half three and then half seven. So he's obviously missed the half three one. So I feel like a new woman today because, oh, morning, Mr. Magpie, how's your partner? Oh, there's two, Cooper. There's three. There's three. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like a new woman this morning because I've had like a full seven hour sleep straight. Oh, thanks to you. My gorgeous boy. I like woke up and I was just like, oh my God. I don't know if it's just a one-off, but even if so, a one-off of seven hours full sleep, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> my gorgeous. Do you know what as well, guys? He absolutely loves his cot. I've been like putting him in it. Um, well, I've been putting him in it for a while now, just while I get ready. Um, and he loves it with his little mobile on. But I've started to put him in it for like, you know, when he's napping and stuff. And he really, really likes it, don't you? Are we going to get you dressed for the day? Yes, we are. What should we wear today? What shall we wear today? Right. Is that what you want to wear? Is that okay then? We can do that. Right. Anything else? Okay, any other requests? 
Any other requests? Okay, that's fine. We can wear that. Was it this that you wanted to wear? Yes, okay, let's wear that then. Are you going to tell me all about your dream last night, please? Is that what happened? Oh, that sounds like a really good dream. Right? Oh, that sounds so good. Well, I'm not sure we picked the right day to come for a walk because... I'm not even sure if you can see how you bad it is. You can never see rain properly on a camera, can you? No, but you can see how quick the windscreen wipers are going. That pretty much shows that you. That indicates the rainfall. Yeah. Anyways, good morning. Don't think you've been. Good morning, everybody. In today's vlog. I um, not. sorry. <laughs> no, so I, I feel like we both went. Um, we've just come into town. We, to be fair, we were going to come for a little walk around, like down the river, weren't we? We but. were going to go for a wander down the river, um, the River Ooze. Do you know why it's called the River Ooze? No. Because they don't know Ooze, the river it is. <laughs> Do you know what? Ooh. You were always Ooh. bad before, but since having Cooper, your dad jokes honestly. are horrendous. I I honestly do. Horrendous. I don't. What did you say to your granny yesterday? We're at your granny's and you said, oh, what was oh, it? Oh, she was eating a scone. I said, granny is a scone or a scone. She said, it's No, she scone. didn't. No, she didn't. You just came out of it. Your, your granny said, she's going to have a... No, she went, I'll have a scone. I'll have a scone after my tea. That's yeah. It. And I said, no, granny, you'll have a scone. And then once you've eaten it, it's a scone. <laughs> It's actually quite a good one to be fair. It's gone. It's gone. It's in. Gone. What's that cheese? I'm one? here all week. What's name a cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. That I do actually like that one. Do you know what? A joke that I always tell. You're gonna do you know which one I'm gonna tell? Yeah, the, the penguin one. This is the one that I always tell when someone you know like when we're telling. Ellie, like, when everyone just like doing like little that. jokes like that, Ellie goes, I've got a joke for you. It comes out with his belter. <laughs> I remember my teacher telling me, well, telling us this joke at primary school. Strap yourselves in, guys. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, ready. Why couldn't the polar bear eat the penguin? Why couldn't he eat the penguin? Well, I know the answer, so Go it's on. pretty much because he couldn't get the wrapper off. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel like that's a really good one. You yeah. would never guess that, the answer to that, if you didn't know it. Maybe not. You got any other jokes? No. Oh, Go on, no, tell no, us one. Honestly, I could could be here all day if you want a joke first. I know what. Yeah, tell us a joke. What and did then... you call a man with the seagull on his head? Oh, what? you've told me this about fifty times. Um, oh, come <laughs> Go on, another one. What did you call a man with the spade on his head? Oh, Ellie, you... these are my like good jokes. I know you can literally tell me these all the time, and I can't even think. Oh, Doug. Oh, Doug, yeah. Um, I think I just drove right past where I thought we were going to pass. What do you call it? What is it? Um, what's the the extra one? Deer. What do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. What do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? Still no idea. Why do, what's that thing that we do sometimes where... Um, what? What are the... <laughs> So you've got, you've lost me. To say my job is like teaching and training, I'm not very good at explaining stuff. Um, you know, like where you say what's what's orange and don't go hot. You know, you know that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Well, that, I'm, I'm gonna say you're trying to find out what a riddle is. Yeah, riddles. That's okay, it. go on. Give us a riddle. I don't know off the top of my head a riddle. Right. Well, you think of one. I'll give you a minute. Anyways, we've just come into town while well, Tom thinks of that. We were going to come for a walk, like we say, but it's absolutely chucking down, so we're probably just going to go look around some shops. We're going to go to Nando's. We've not been to Nando's in forever, have we? He's still thinking of riddles. Think we've of literally riddles. not been to Nando's. I honestly can't ever remember the last time we went. Edinburgh, probably. No, that was like two weeks ago. I bet that. Oh, no, no that when we were dad. Dad, when, we went to, when they went to look at cars. Yeah. That was a long time ago. They've had their car ago. a while now. Probably a year ago now. So we're going to go to Nando's for some lunch. Coops is asleep. But I think we should feed Coops in the car before we get out because then it could have potentially stopped raining a little bit. Yeah, it's been raining since we woke up. But it's yeah, calmed down a little maybe. bit though. Do you know it has think? got a little bit better. But yeah. yeah. Anyway, and then Tom actually might be going to view a van later on because he needs a new van. 
and yeah. one's come up in York, so we're gonna go potentially look at that if the guy's in. Um, yeah, that's the plan of attack for the day. Have we got a riddle yet? Quite well, a really bad one, but oh God, go it's on. quite easy, I think. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Have six daughters. Oh, yeah. have, have I heard this one? I think so. Go on, then. Each daughter has a brother. How many siblings are there? Say it again slower. Jack and Jill, don't matter what the names are, but we'll go with Jack and Jill, have six daughters. Between them. Jack all... and Jill have six daughters, yeah? Yeah, and each of them have a brother. Each of them have a brother, yeah. How many siblings are there? Pause the video, because I'm going to tell you the answer. Pause it, pop the answer in the comments, and then come back and play. Is the answer seven? The answer is seven. There's six sisters and one brother. If they all have one brother, that means there's only one boy. Whee! Well, I think the weather is actually on our side because it's stopped raining. We've cleared up a little bit, haven't we? Keep his hat's nearly over his eyes. <laughs> yeah, roll it up a bit more. That better? Can we see the world now? Keep just wants to be out. We keep saying this every time we come out. But we need to start bringing his carrier yeah. as well as the pram because he do not always. Like days like today, but like when we went to the zoo. But day. why? Because I won't have him in a carrier, I can just carry him now. Well, it? yeah, true. But like we went to the zoo again last weekend for Mother's Day and um, he just wanted to be out obviously because he wants to be seeing all the animals and stuff. Um, and so we ended up just carrying him. Like under our coats, didn't we? And yeah. I said to Tommy, like, we might as well bring the carrier and put the carrier under our coat so we're not actually physically carrying him. And then we forget every single time. But, but we're just out seeing the world, aren't we? You love it, don't you? Yeah, I wonder. It's actually not even that cold yeah, either, to be fair, is it? No. Actually quite it's nice. Lovely and mild. Yeah, and the rain is completely stopped, which is brilliant. So we're just having a little walk down the river. And then we're going to have a little potter into town. And then we're gonna go for an Anders. Starters are here. We've just got a little few halloumi sticks to start with. But perfect timing, just finished feeding and has gone to sleep. Touch wood stays like that. No rocket. So little halloumi sticks, right? But if we move move the halloumi sticks, you all know me. Look at this heaven on a leaflet. You didn't get the mac and cheese. No, but I thought I was trying to Oh, did you? Right, fantastic. So, ever since I've been to Florida, I'm a mac and cheese connoisseur now. Is that where we fit? No. You liked when we went to what's it called? Cut and craft. Mm. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Mm. Might have been cut and craft. Can't remember where I first had it. Big actually. recommendation though. Yeah, craft. big recommendation. Cut and craft. Very nice place. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah. Mac and cheese was always like an extra. It's like a side, yeah. But now it's one of the side dishes that you can get. at Nando's, it might have been, it says new, I don't know how new. I've never seen it. What's that on the top? Does it say what it is on the top? Crunchy, garlicky, peri peri crumb Ooh, toppings. Nice. Worth cheating on your usual. Well, is and it no, going to be worth I swapped cheating? Out, I swapped out the garlic bread for my mac and cheese. So what have you gone for? Butterfly chicken. Peri peri chips. Peri peri chips and mac and cheese. I've gone for butterfly chicken, medium spice. You've gone for barbecue. Oh, you? you've done me right. No, barbecue's nice. Oh, you've done me like that. No. I don't like spice. No, it's not a bad thing. If you're an avid viewer, you know that I don't like spice. I, I was just out with me for not having spice on the vlog. No, I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing. All oh, the barbecue's actually very nice, and I bet a lot of people get the barbecue. Mm. Um, I've gone for peri no, what's it called? Butterfly chicken, medium spice, creamy mash, and then I was going to go for garlic bread, but I thought I'm going to get broccoli. I really like the broccoli from here. Oh, so she didn't even have mac and cheese in a bread. No. So I'm going to be the mac and cheese connoisseur from Nando's and I will let you know the honest rating on where it sits in the world of mac and cheese. Also, what a lovely table we've got because we're literally right in the window, people watching. Coops is going to wake up and have an amazing view outside the world. Got another drink. And we're in like, yeah, can I have, um, can I just have some water please? Yeah, I feel like I need an actual drink. And we're in like a secluded bit on our own. Lovely. I'm actually really, really jealous of that mac and cheese. That mac and cheese looks insane. Incredible. Mm. Is it nice? It's beautiful. Go on. I just feel like there's a little bit too much of that going on. Oh, the crispy stuff on the top. Yeah. Let's just try and go for more. But really nice, a little bit spicy. Spicy? Is it? 
Let me try a bit then. In my opinion. <laughs> So the I'm spicy actually look out means nothing coming from yeah, me. Yeah, so ignore, I bet it's not even spicy at all. You My mouth actually like, can I have a bit of crunchy stuff on oh. top? You don't even like the crunchy stuff you just said. Is there a little bit of a kick to that? Because I actually think there is. No. no. <laughs> I don't think there's any kick to it whatsoever. But, not the nicest mac no. and cheese for I thought that. That's exactly how I thought. But I like the crunchy stuff on the top. Mm. But, yeah, mm, see. I do rate the mac and cheese, but it's not the nicest. Yeah. Would you get it again? Yeah, definitely. I'd rather have halloumi over that, personally. I think the chips are better than that. Yeah, but I'd still get that again. That is a B side in it. Yeah, like it is really, really nice, but I wouldn't. I don't think that. Mm, I don't know, I don't love it. But I'd give it probably like a 7. 6 and a half, 7 out of 10. Mm. What about you? Yeah. About the same. Oh. And then this is mine. So that's why you're creamy mash. Yeah, come on. <laughs> you thought I was going to say no then, didn't you? You were buzzing when I said yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So it is now the next day. Just turn Pepig down. Hopefully you won't notice. <laughs> um, but it's now Monday morning. I'm just sat eating my breakfast. A little hack for any mums out there. I put this on my Instagram, actually, the other week. Bath seat. Bath seat with loads of comfy blankets. Pepper Pig. Obviously I'm right next to him so he's safe. I'm not gonna just like leave him unattended, but that bath seat is an absolute godsend. Like it's an absolute lifesaver. I put it on my Instagram and so many people was like, oh my god, it's the best, isn't it? But then there was a few people that were like, oh my god, I've never thought of that before. So I thought I'd just put it on my YouTube just for any mums out there that hadn't thought of that before. I think I saw it somewhere on TikTok and I was like, genius. Um, and he's really happy in there. Like, obviously, like I say, I put a few blankets in just so it's a little bit comfier for him. But he's quite happy just sat there watching Peppa while I ate my breakfast. Aren't you, darling? Are you happily watching Peppa Pig? Anyway, sorry for the abrupt kind of like ending of the vlog yesterday. Um, we were in Nando's and then I think I did mention on the way that Tommy was potentially picking up a new van. Well, he ended up going to see the van, liking it, and then we took it home. So it was just like a little bit of a manic afternoon. So we had our Nando's, went for like a little walk around um, the city centre and then went to view the van, which was not, not far from us at all. It was in Selby, which is really close to York. Um, went to view the van, liked it, and then we ended up, obviously that's like a quite a long process viewing it test driving it and stuff and then um me and coops drove home and tommy drove his van home so he's now got his van which is really good but that's why we didn't really vlog much more yesterday because there wasn't really much more to show and tell to be honest um but today's monday is absolutely glorious outside i mean i've not actually been outside but it's really like blue sky green grass like it's really sunny it probably will be quite chilly but um it's a really really nice day um i think what i'm gonna do it's 10 o'clock now, so I'm going to feed Coops in a minute and then he'll probably go down for a little nap. So I think while he's napping, um, we're going to hop in the car and I want to just take a little trip to B&M because I've not been to B&M in the longest time. I just want to have a little mooch round. I could do like a few little bits, you know, like washing stuff, like boring stuff like that. Um, so I think we'll pop to B&M. On the way, I might also go to McDonald's because I... Is it McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's have brought out the new... Um, Easter in. They've brought out a latte, a hot cross bun latte. Now that sounds right on my street because you guys know that I love anything like cinnamon. Cinnamony, is that even a word? Um, so I think on the way we'll stop off and get one of those to try, then we'll head to B&M. Um, and then we might even go for a walk later. We'll just, we'll just see, won't we chops? So we've just been to McDonald's. I've got the hot cross bun latte to try. I was just saying to Anne Marie, I'm not usually a latte kind of person. I find them too milky. Do you like latte? No, I don't like coffee. Do you not like coffee hot? No. I never knew that about you, do you not? Are no. you a tea drinker? Yeah. See, I do like a cup of tea, but I do like coffee nowadays. Anyway, lattes I just find too milky, whereas cappuccinos are like just right, because there's not as much milk in cappuccinos, I don't think. No, I think it's, is it a third coffee, third milk, third froth or something like something that? Something like that, whereas latte is more milk in it. Yeah. Than just the, anyways, I've got it to try. I feel like this is gonna try like, this is gonna taste something like cinnamony. That's what, that's the vibe I'm gonna guess. I'm not sure. But you say you don't like cinnamon and you like a hot cross bun. Yeah, cause I can't, it depends, depends on where they're from. I can't always taste it. You know, like, 
It's not always as strong. You can't beat a hot cross bun though, can you? Right, let's do it. That is really nice. I'm just trying to like work out what it tastes like. See, I actually think that doesn't taste like cinnamon and it tastes like hot cross bun. It reminds me of autumn. Like I feel like that should be an autumn drink. Not, yeah, not not Easter even though. But then hot cross buns are Easter, aren't yeah. they? I can't work out what it is, but I actually really, really like that. And it doesn't taste too milky. So I definitely recommend it. I can't that. smell it. You Do you want to like... try it? No, because I don't like coffee. Do you want us a little sip there? No. Really? <laughs> yeah. Right, let me just try it again. I really can't work out. I think it's like a hint of hot cross one. It's not strong out. smelling though. You know, like some of some of the lattes you get, you can normally smell what yeah. What scent it is, but you can't. It's not like overpowering. That. No. It's actually very nice. Let me know down below if you've tried this before. You okay, darling? Let me know if you've tried it before and what you think it tastes like. Do you actually think it tastes like a hot cross bun? And if you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend it because it's actually really nice. I'm gonna be good, she says. Yeah, last time we came in here, <laughs> last time we came in here, we said let's just get one basket to share. Yeah. We're gonna be good, and then you fill the full basket. I've got dog treats. So far, <laughs> thank you. We've come down the mug section and there is so many good mugs that I've seen online. Oh, that's one of them. How cute is that? Yeah. Like the little daisies on. It's spring like, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely. It's quite heavy. Yeah, but it looks like a good... Yeah. That's like a that's tea like mug. That, that's not yeah. a coffee mug, that's a tea mug. That's quite cute as well. You like stuff like that. I mean, though. how heavy is that though? Yeah, it's quite a solid one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's not... It's not flimsy, is it? No, actually really good quality. I do really like that one. And then there was another one, it's like a white one with like flowers all over it. I can't see it, I keep seeing all over. Not in here, is it? But there are some really nice ones. Them ones are nice. That one's quite cute. And that one. Oh, look at that with the little heart. I mean, I think that would annoy me, the little heart thing on the side, but it's yeah. cute. I quite like that bee one as well, to be fair. B and M is just a place to come for mugs, though, isn't it? There's already there's always some really nice ones. Anything else? I mean, we said we weren't getting much. To be fair to us, we've only got stuff we need. Not too bad. That actually looks like Willow. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it That's does. That's why I picked it up. That's Anne Marie's dog. That's quite a decent sized tea mug as it well. It is as well. It's quite solid. Yeah. The handle's solid as well. Yeah. You know, like, like you say, with the heart, it's. It'd be annoying to hold. It's like, where do I put my fingers? Yeah, I agree. But that does really look like Willow. Yeah. What have we got so far? I've got pegs. And we've got a peg basket. Man's Dry boring. shampoo. Dog treats. Toothpaste. Yeah. It's literally just stuff. What else have I got under there? Fabric conditioner. Um, shower shower gel. gel. Yeah, quite boring to be fair. <laughs> um, we're doing well. We're doing good. Stanley mug. Do you? That one's a nice one. Didn't you want one of these? Yeah, but not as big as that. They've got some with like a handle on the top rather than, do you know what I mean? Rather They're the new Stanley ones I've got them. The one I want. Yeah. That's really nice. How much are they? Six pounds. Six pounds if anyone's looking for one of those. Well, yeah, you asked me. They didn't when I went in. Yeah. More mugs. That's a nice mug. I'm actually really excited to go down this aisle, the summer aisle. I was just saying, and I think I said in one of my other vlogs as well, I'm actually so excited for summer this year. Ooh. I can't wait. <laughs> Got <trip. laughs> Um, I just can't wait. We're like currently in the process of planning a family Alton Towers trip. We used to go to Alton Towers as the, like Tommy's family every single year, didn't we? And then we didn't go for so long. But we're going there this year, and then we're also going to go camping. But I just can't wait to like go and walk in the sun with him and the in the garden, go to the beach, yeah, like all that type of thing. So this aisle is making me really happy. Like, look at the little beach towels and stuff. I can't wait as well to get him like a little pair of Crocs with what are them things called? Gibbets. Gibbets. Oh. Like that. that little dinosaur one. Isabel will correct me. So cute. B&M's actually really good for garden furniture. I wanted to get one of these, I think last year. I never ended up getting one. Are they good? Do you actually use it? Oh my God, look at those little jelly shoes. Look at these. They're only a fiver as well, that's actually a really good price. These really remind me of when I was a kid. Like kids in these and Crocs, adorable, but for five pound. This is cute. 
Easter Bunny has travelled around the galaxy to deliver Easter treats to all of the smarty pants this year. I, ho I hopped by whilst you were sleeping to whisper Happy Easter and deliver this surprise to you to chomp your way through. I hope this makes you twirl around with joy. That is so cool. How much is that? I don't know how much it is, but... They have some really cute Easter bits in here. I've seen them before for like Father's Day and stuff, have you? And Mother's Day. Yeah. I've never seen them for Easter, but yeah, they've got little bonnets, chocolate eggs. Go on then, Anne Marie, what's your Easter egg of choice? For me? Well, just in general. What would your go to Easter egg be? Well, I've bought myself a Terry's chocolate orange. Oh, nice. Yeah, might, the Terry's chocolate orange might have fallen out and then fallen into my mouth already. Oh. That's a shame. I know. Oh. I have to get another one. Yeah, I? you were held your after. <laughs> um, I really want the, you know, the mini egg one, but you know the one where the, the ultimate mini egg one where the eggs, the big eggs got mini yeah. eggs in. Do you know what I mean? I really want that. We're now in Poundland. I actually cannot wait till Coops is of an age where I can like do all the little Easter bonnet and stuff. There's actually loads of stuff as well in Poundland. If you're looking for Easter stuff, get yourselves in here. There's loads of like sweets and chocolate. Popping candy, there's loads. So we're now home, I just thought I'd show you some of the bits that I got. I didn't get anything interested. <coughs> interested, interested. And then we also went into Poundland, like I say, and they actually had some really good bits. Anne Marie picked up a few bits, so I'll show you in a sec. Um, but literally from B&M, I got pegs because it's getting to that time of year. It was so nice outside today. It was actually like fairly warm, wasn't it? Like it wasn't coat weather. I had like, um, What's that coat on the eye of called? It's like a Matt? trench. Trench. Trench coat, like thin, and it was nice. Um, so it's, it'll be soon. In fact, you probably could put your washing on the line now. You did today, didn't you? Put your bedding on. Mm. You can't beat bedding on the line. So I got some pegs. I got this shower gel because it smelled unreal. Raspberry and blackberry. Um, I got some dry shampoo in the scent Dreamy Watermelon. And then I can show these actually because. Gary's birthday will have been and gone for the time this vlog comes up, just in case you've got it on in the house. But um, it's Tommy's brother's birthday and we've got him a present, but then I've just got him some syrups as well because Anne-Marie said he's running low. So i got caramel and vanilla. It was annoying because he didn't have a big one of the vanilla. Then we went to Poundland. I got Cooper this. Um, it's a water-filled teether for, and it soothes sore gums. I don't think he's teething. I don't think he's got sore gums, but he's, he's at the stage where his hand's constantly in his mouth. So I thought this would be good to put in his mouth. You can put it in the fridge and then it's nice and cool for them. It says three months plus. That's everything I got. And then from Poundland, Anne-Marie got some cute little Easter bits, which I think I showed you when I was in there. And then we went to the clothes section because you wanted a body warmer for yeah. Isaac. We went in Matalan and we saw one that we liked, but they didn't have his size. So we thought, oh, we'll just look in Poundland. This was from Poundland. How mad is that? You wouldn't look at that and think. That was six pound, wasn't it? Six pound. Oh, what a bargain. In Matalan. Yeah, so literally more than double mm. in Matalan. Got little pockets. We were well impressed with that, weren't we? Yeah. And <laughs> then you also got this jumper, which was four pound. Isaac loves dinosaurs and he loves the colour orange, so that's like a bit of him, isn't it? Definitely. And then we hopped in the car and Anne-Marie said, um, because basically for my baby shower, was it, who was it that told everyone to get me a book? Was it you? Probably my idea. Your yeah. idea. <laughs> so for my baby shower, everyone got us a book and then that wrote a little thing in it to yeah. say who it was from. And I was just saying, um, when I read Cooper a book now, like he actually sits still. Like when I've tried reading him in it, even like a couple of weeks ago, it'd like kick and like be like, come on, I'm bored. <laughs> Whereas now when I read him a book, he actually sits there. And his favourite book is Elmer. I think it's because of like the bright colours and stuff. Anyways, Anne-Marie didn't, she told everyone to buy me a book for my baby shower and then she forgot to buy me a book. No, I bought you it. It's missing. Missing in my house somewhere, so I bought it again. <laughs> Yeah, you tell her who. I know. Um, so she didn't get me a book, so she said she sneakily got one today when we were in the works, which I didn't didn't realise she was doing. So I'm intrigued to see which book she's got me. Well, not me, Cooper. Is it going to be a book I remember? Oh, the very hungry caterpillar. I need to write in it, though. Oh, sorry, I didn't know what Thank that. you. Oh, that's all like bright colours and stuff as well. Oh, look. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. I think he's going to love this because it's bright colours. Oh, bless, bless you. Bless you. Oh, that's like one of those books like a childhood book. I don't think we got this one either at the baby shower. 
Yeah, because I bought it and didn't bring it. <laughs> oh, is this the one you bought? Yeah. Oh. It's exactly the same, but I just lost Did it. Did you all tell each other what book you were getting? Yeah, so you didn't get double. Uh, I think I got a couple of doubles. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. But well, it's not bad. It it's yeah. not bad because that you can leave a couple of grandparents yeah. and stuff, you know, for when they go. We'll try this one. Let's see. Let's we'll see what it thinks. I've seen Elmo already sat in his cushion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Upstairs, I read it in last night. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little haul of what we got. Not much. We actually did well. Usually we're like, we're not going to buy much, then we buy loads. But considering we've been to B&M and that's all we've got, I think we did pretty well. And then I've just got an Amazon parcel through, but I think I know what it is. So... Me and Coops have had a cold the past week. This boy needs a break. Covid, then a cold. Um, and he's been quite bunged up. He's absolutely fine in himself. He's just literally bunged up and got a bit of a cough. And because he's three months now, I've been using the Calpol plugins, which, by the way, so good. And I've just got some refills. I got 10 refills for a tenner. So, like, a pound a thing, which I didn't think was too bad because they tend to be quite expensive. I'm going to have to just ignore... Your parents. This is an afternoon full of playtime, cuddles, just chilling with my little gorgeous boy. But before we wrap up the vlog, smoothing the era, um, I thought I could quickly come on and show you guys my vision board because after the last video, we okay? We couldn't see who we were talking to. Oh, the vlog. We didn't realise who we were talking to the vlog, did we? We're talking to the world. Who did you think I was talking to? Mm, I don't know. We're talking with me. Hola, señoros. <laughs> Bonjour. Buongiorno, señoros. Come get in. Who do you think he looks like now, guys? Do we think because obviously oh, he's great. changed a lot? <laughs> Who do we, we think? Or do we just think Cooper looks like Cooper? He does look like more like you. Do they? Yeah. People keep saying that to me now and I'm like... <sighs> anyway, I'm just showing my vision board because everyone was asking to see it from the last vlog. You don't do a vision board, do you? But you do sometimes dabble and stick a few bits what? on. What? You've stuck a few bits on here before, haven't you? Probably in 2010. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 so that's funny, isn't it? No, I don't do vision boards. No, but you've stuck like... Nothing. No, I, think you might Not one thing on that. I think you did last year when you were into your NFT, she stuck an NFT on that, I think. You remember? Oh, yeah, before. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> nope. um, but yeah, so I haven't actually done this this year. I do need to sit down and. Me and Coop's are going it. because we've got Little Mermaid on, so we've got a date with the telly. Before that, oh. didn't you use my manager board to get my ring? <laughs> didn't you? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, but that, that ring. What? Yeah, it was my inspiration. Yes, it was. I thought it was a different one, but yes, it was. Right, say bye. Bye. Bye, bye everyone. I want to go watch Little Mermaid. Bye. Bye, <laughs> baby. Um. See you later. See you later. <laughs> wow. Um. So yeah, I tend to do this like pretty much every like end of december january time i haven't done it this year for obvious reasons D end of december was like a manic month and then obviously beginning of january was just finding our feet and stuff so i haven't actually done it i need to prioritize it maybe we could do that in another vlog let me know if you'd want to see that um but yeah i'll just kind of talk you through obviously visions boards are really really personal like really personal i think that's probably why i've never shown it before if i'm honest because they are very very personal and some people may look at like things on here and be like oh my god or whatever but it's just completely personal to you and i think that's what you have to make it i've personally got a massive one you can get like little mini vision boards um you know like the little small ones plenty of apps out there where you can like, put like little collages together and i know a lot of people have it as like their um lock screen on their phone so you're constantly seeing it on maybe like the wallpaper on your phone you know there's things like you can have a constant reminder so this i created and i put it in here because obviously when i was at work this is the office so my desk is there i used to literally just always look at that and you know every morning i'd look at it i have kind of got out of it but i do do really need to get back into it um but it's just nice to have there so whenever I come in here I look and I remind myself of like, I guess it's like your dreams isn't it? It's like a vision board of where you want to see yourself and things you want to happen and things that help and motivate you. Um, 
this isn't a vision board kind of like oh, that won't happen this year it's more just things that i would like to happen like i said I do it every year to like top it up but sometimes i'll keep like the same things on there and then just like take some off and put some on in like if i've ticked anything off type of thing but anyways this is mine i'll kind of talk you through it it's like i say absolutely massive i got this vision board off amazon and then i just printed everything off so we'll start let's start down here because i feel like it's pretty fitting so this was like um a vision or like a dream that i wanted like specific i had a time scale on i guess because obviously with, oh, also just please mind the washing and stuff obviously the desk isn't getting used in, isn't getting used so we just this is like a bit of a it's a bit of like a laundry room to be fair um at the minute but obviously with everything that happened a massive 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 thing for me was to fall pregnant and last year when i did this like back end of december last year was not last year sorry the year before was when everything had happened and i was just really 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 trying to manifest obviously getting pregnant and having a baby and that's all i wanted um so i put like specific things in here so firstly i've just got the word mum and dad i've got the word parents and i've got the word 2023 because i wanted to fall pregnant and have the baby in 2023 so this, i did this in december 2022 so first of all i've got a picture of me actually pregnant um then i put on like bump pictures of people pregnant in summer because i wanted to be pregnant in summer and i wanted to have my baby here for the end of the year so i put christmas pictures of a newborn so what i was like really trying to get across with this was because this was december 20, 20, 2022 i wanted to be pregnant and have the baby in this in 2023 so we've got pictures like i say of pregnant people in summer and then we've got bit of newborn at christmas because i wanted to have my baby here by december and long behold i was pregnant in summer and my baby was born literally nine days before christmas which is just absolutely mental so yeah that was like time zone thing like i had a time on that i wanted it to happen in 2023 so i've put that also what i will just add on here as well there are like of course some materialistic things on here like everyone there's always going to be materialistic things that you want there's like bits of goals there's bits of like personal stuff there's like some quotes on there that help me and i feel like i like to remind myself of and then like i said there are materialistic things on there as well and um, so yeah so we've got that bit first which was my main thing that was like the main thing that i wanted to happen we've got a little quote good things are coming because obviously i was in such a bad frame of mind when i was doing this good things are coming like repeated i just needed to keep saying that to myself because obviously i wasn't going through a great stage i've got the word health and happiness because of course all i want is health and happiness for me and all of my loved ones I've got a picture of just me and tom holding hands i've got like happy couple just like really happy and love couple and a picture of me and tom just want me and tom to be as we are like happy happy but in love like just wanted us to be as we were hence why i put pictures of us as well and then just like happy couples health and happiness for me and my loved ones um i'm deserving of everything i dream of because i feel like sometimes for me like i think oh why would it happen to me blah blah blah, blah. so i needed to remind myself of that we've got youtube on here um tom and l 50k subscribers because that is like a an end goal like i would really really like to one day hopefully on youtube have 50k subscribers um this when i first did this so we started youtube back in 2020 april 2020 so gosh next month that will have been four years which is absolutely crazy and a massive massive goal at first for us was 1k so that was on my vision board then it was 10k we've hit 10k um and then yeah now we've got 50k which i know might seem like it's so far in, in the future but it's just something that i'd hope to get to in the future at some stage so we've got 50k and then we've got our little youtube handle we've got a ring and this ring just kind of was like the design i wanted so i always wanted like a band you know like as a girl you you envision like your dream ring and stuff like that don't you? i was going to say your dream dress but i actually have never envisioned my dream dress i don't know what kind of dress i want like people always say to me have you got a bit of an idea and i'm like i actually don't like i'm going in like literally with a complete open mind and then i've just got a picture of a cake i think that's just to kind of symbolize this is just to symbolize like wedding in general because obviously i wanted to get married at some stage in my life i wanted to get engaged and i wanted to obviously get married but again that happened last year which was crazy um so i've just got a picture of a wedding cake that's not 
the wedding cake I like, but it's just a picture of a wedding cake. And then I've got this picture of Olivia Bowen with her bridesmaids, just because I really like that colour scheme. I just think that's a really nice photo. And then I've also got a picture, this might seem really random, but of a saxophonist. This sounds really, really random, but it's always been like a dream of mine at my wedding to have a saxophonist. You know, like some people have bands and some people just have a DJ. I've always wanted a saxophonist. You know, where they come up on the dance floor with you and they're like, do, 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 do. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just love it. And it's absolutely crazy because today we've actually just signed a contract with a saxophonist to come to our wedding. So mental. So that's going to be really, really exciting. So I can tick that one off. I can tick. I was going to say that one, I can't tick that one off yet. I can tick that off, I can tick that off, and I can tick all of this off, which is just absolutely mental. Um, I've got just, like, pictures of, like, holiday, our passports, like, holiday destinations, planes, because we just love travelling, we love going on holiday and stuff. Um, I have got a picture of first class, because I would love to fly first class, business class one day, like, absolutely dream i think everybody in the world would and um, there's also one there as well um what have we done this year where have, not this year what did we do last year we went on holiday so we can kind of tick that off we've not done that quite yet but there we go um my goal for the next year is just to fall back in love with myself and the world again again <laughs> i wasn't in a good place doing this i just my goal was just to be happy and just find my feet again i guess god i feel like this is like <sighs> I don't know, I feel like really quite vulnerable showing this vision board because it is very, very, very personal. So, yeah, I feel a bit a bit vulnerable, to be honest. But here we go, we'll be open. Um, I've just got a picture of me and Tom on holiday. Um, I've got the word dream, and then I've got, like, pictures of, like, kind of dream houses that I'd love to have in the future. Like a nice big house. Just really like the look of all those houses. Got pictures of dream cards. This is what I mean by, like, materialistic stuff. Um, so I've got a picture of a Vela, which I really, really like, and then a Tesla, like, oh my god, I think Teslas are just absolutely gorgeous, so, yeah, I'd love a Tesla. Um, reminder, 2023 is your year, I actually made that, because I kept, last year, and again, like, some people might not believe in this kind of stuff, and they might think it's a lot of hoo-ha, which is totally fine, like, I've each to their own, but... Me and my friend Cartz, we literally voice note all the time and we do like gratitudes and affirmations and all I kept affirming last year was 2023 is going to be my year, it's going to be the best year of my life and whenever I was feeling down I just keep telling myself that, although I maybe didn't believe it, I just kept affirming that every single day and I mean every day, every morning I would say it to myself um, and every night before I went to bed I'd just say 2023 is going to be my year. Um, it's going to be the best year of my life and I can hand on heart say 2023 was the best year of my life. I think 2024 is going to beat it because I've got my gorgeous beautiful boy but last year I got like I got surprised with my dream holiday destination. We went to New York on my birthday which it's my birthday this Friday in fact the Friday just gone when you see this. It's been a year since that New York video, how mental. For those of you that haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. But basically Tom surprised me with the trip to New York just because of, we'd had such a crap ending to the year, to the previous year and it was a dream of ours to go to New York. So he surprised me with that, which was just incredible. Went to New York, got engaged, came back, found out I was pregnant and then I was pregnant and then I had my gorgeous boy. So last year it truly was incredible. It was the best year of my life. So where it says there, 2023 is your year. It really, really was my year. Um, I've got self-love because, again, don't really talk about it, but I do need to have a bit more of this, I think, sometimes. Um, and then these are all quotes, to be fair. So I've got, I'm becoming the best version of myself. Um, you can do brave things. Believe in yourself and you'll be the unstoppable. Don't overthink it because I'm a massive overthinker. Keep going. You owe it to yourself to become everything you've ever dreamed of being. 99% of things you worry about never happen. Because again, I'm an overthinker. Thoughts become things. Thoughts become things again, because that's one of my favourite quotes. And then just more self-love. Um, so just some quotes in that top corner that I feel like I really need to remind myself of. And then finally, we've just got financial freedom. Because, I'm sorry, but who doesn't want to be financially free? But yeah, that's my vision board. So it's just full of like quotes words like health happiness self-love dream 
parents it was like all that kind of thing and then you've got like the materialistic things like cars houses like in first class holidays you've got like the family bits like pictures of me and tom the word health the word happiness we've got the parents we've got the quotes we've got the wedding yeah which is if i look at that now right i can honestly say 2023 ugh, ignore the socks this is just it really is dumb because i need to sort it out pregnant ticked baby here by christmas ticked engage ticked wedding planning we're getting there so i guess the wedding you can kind of kind of like say tick because we are planning the wedding saxophonist ticked holiday ticked um we didn't get 50k on youtube but we have grown which is just amazing like thank you so much to you guys for all the support um 2023 is your year ticked self-love so i feel like i've still got a bit of a journey to go on with self-love but that's another topic for another day but i do feel like being pregnant and everything my body's done i do appreciate my body so much more and like now one of the um affirmations i say to myself most days is your body is more than how it looks because any mums out there you know your body changes so so much when you have a baby this is getting very very deep all of a sudden but your body changes so much when you have a baby and so i have to remind myself my body is more than how it looks and i i just sit there and like say to myself you've carried a baby your bo your body has carried a baby safely in fact first of all your body's made a baby obviously with tom's help but your body's your body's made the baby then it's carried your baby safely for nine months your body has helped your baby breathe it's helped it live it's fed it for nine months it's kept it safe it's kept it warm like your body has created another human like i can't even get my head around the fact that my body's created another heart lungs skin eyes like it, it's just absolutely mental my body's done all that then my body's birthed a human like my body has grown this magical thing and then it's birthed it and now my body because i'm breastfeeding is feeding I, I, I just find it all mental so self-love in that aspect i really do feel like i have i can kind of tick off this year because i'm so much more appreciative of my body and i now do feel like it is more than how it looks obviously like i want to feel more confident in my body but you know i'm just so proud and grateful of my body for what it's done like i'm truly why well, do i feel like i'm gonna tear up but i'm just truly so 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 grateful for my body um so i feel like yeah i'm getting there with that overthinking ever since i've had coops i feel like i don't overthink about the silly stuff anymore like there's just more to life so i feel like i'm getting there but anyway long ramble there's my vision board for those of you that wanted to see it okay, i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i'm just about to start cooking tea i'm gonna do a nice stir fry not had stir fry in the longest time i've got piles of washing bit of reality fear that i need to go do the washing basket is like sky high so we need to do a bit of that and i'm gonna have a nice bath and wash this grease pan of a hair so that's my evening tonight um but anyways thank you all so much for watching thank you for spending a couple of days with us if you have enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and we shall see you in the next one. Bye.